Welcome to the first episode of the GOMINSPECT video tutorials for version 7.5 SR1. This tutorial will give you an overview of the graphical user interface as well as an introduction to simple inspection tasks. GOMINSPECT always opens with a start screen in order to handle projects. Either create a new project from scratch, open a recently used project or choose the pathway for your existing project. A project is mandatory in order to work with GOMINSPECT. Integrated into the bar on the left side are the so-called workspaces. Workspaces are dedicated to assignments such as inspection, reporting or mesh editing. The main toolbar above is changing accordingly in order to supply the users with the needed functionalities. To turn an object in the 3D view, press the left mouse button and move the mouse around. If you press Shift and the left mouse button, you may turn the object in viewing direction. Zoom in and out by moving the mouse wheel forwards and backwards. Pressing the mouse wheel activates the pan mode. The coordinate cube in the lower left corner allows to switch to standard or isometric views. You may also turn the view clockwise or anti-clockwise by 15, 30, 45 or even 90 degrees. It is also possible to rotate around the coordinate axis independently. If you would like to view or change the properties of an element, you have to enlarge the properties window on the right side also with the tab key. The properties are depending on the selected element in the explorer. So perhaps you would like to change the display of the selected mesh to mesh structure or use the slider to apply transparencies to the mesh or CAD. The explorer on the left side contains a tree with all elements which have been imported or being created during an inspection. Use the shortcuts E for exclusively, V for visible or I for invisible to navigate through the project and to show the results individually. The Overview Explorer is categorized into all elements, computation status or imported elements. In addition, you are able to define your own group of elements, such as an inspection section with attached labels. Those so-called tagging groups can also be restored to the 3D view via drag and drop into the 3D view. The toolbar contains various selection commands, such as select on surface, select through surface and others, but also remembers recently used selection commands. The most important selection commands can be also accessed over the right mouse button. The direct help is fully integrated into the software and thus interacts with it. Just enter a term you would like to know more about and a list of immediate hits is being displayed. Click on an entry and you will find comprehensive descriptions about functions such as a new project. Alternatively, each function contains a question mark which brings you directly to the relevant section of the help. You can enlarge the help window, scroll, continue work, leave it open or just close it. Any data, either nominal or actual data, can be imported via file, import file. You may also import the data via drag and drop. Actual data can be either SDL, G3D, point clouds or even DMS out. Point clouds need to be polygonized after import in order to receive a mesh. We can now bring in the nominal data. Please make sure the triangulation density corresponds with your mesh density. Nominal data is always displayed in blue and actual data in green. 
The nominal data is now locked in its position and the actual data will be aligned to it. It is now necessary to align both datasets in order to compare them. The pre-alignment aligns independently from the start position. Please note that this is an initial alignment only and many more alignment options are available such as local best fit or RPS. We are now able to compare the two data meshes. As there are so many coordinates to compare, GovmentSpec can display the deviations of the data sets via surface comparison. You may adjust the legend scaling to your needs and the link button scales symmetrically. The color representation now means the following. Red for material above the CAD surface and blue for material below the CAD surface. In order to get discrete values, you may use deviation labels, which can be displayed by pressing the control button and created with an additional left mouse button click. Any inspection result can be documented with a report page. You can now choose your desired template type and also the format. If you click Edit, you may readjust the position of the component in the 3D view by having the dimensions of the report. The report can be found in the report workspace now. You can either save the project or export it as a shareable G-Inspect file. The report pages may be exported as PDF. Please visit and register at support.gom.com For further tutorials, to access an extensive knowledge base with hints and tips, to interact with other GOM Inspect users in the GOM forum, and to download sample data and software updates. Download your free copy of GOM Inspect at GOM.com We can also obtain more information about upgrading to GOM Inspect Professional, the parametric inspection solution with innovative teaching by doing technology. And to learn more about GOM's optical measuring systems for 3D coordinate measurement and deformation analysis.